is uh, Latif El Adid. I'm the founder and president of the IPv6 Forum, uh, but also chair of the HC IPv6 uh, Enhanced, uh, Enhanced Innovation and uh, also a previous or emeritus uh, trustee of the Internet Society. One of the uh, things that have been kind of uh, introduced into the Internet is called network address uh, translation, which means that people do not get directly an IP address similar to the phone system. So when you give a phone number to uh, people, you empower them to do a lot of transactions, and that's very important for business. And in the Internet, we don't have the same uh, facility. So it's only a few people that can create services, in this case, on the base of a server. Then the rest are basically just slaves. So the entire world population today is slaves on the internet. Instead of being empowered by having their own IP address and multiple IP addresses, in order to do their own transactions on a peer-to-peer -peer level. So among the 69,000 networks that we have, at the top they peer with each other for free, but at the bottom where the end users are, they are not peering with each other. So we have to take uh, basically services from a few centralized uh, things. And this is happening also to a blockchain for the time being. So the purpose of giving each person his own IP address and multiple of them, you give them also the power that they had the same way with the phone system, you know, to do direct transaction among each other directly. And this will change or restore basically the end-to-end -end model that existed in the internet back in the 90s, which made the internet very important. And we're going back to the same thing by giving practically everyone multiple IP addresses and the things as well, so that we have a two-way internet. And the things they talk to each other first in order to produce decision-making information for us. So basically, this is the first and last upgrade of the internet, uh, moving from a research protocol called IPv4 into a production um, a protocol called IPv6. So, so basically the success of IPv4 took us by surprise and went uh, you know, uh, full, in full blast worldwide. And this has consumed the address space in IPv4. So uh, for the last 20 years we have been promoting the new one in order to uh, put on the large scale deployment of the, the internet, not only for people, but also for things. So, so Internet of Things is the next driving force and obviously, uh, apart from the worldwide uh, internet wireless revolution, the next one is going to be the worldwide blockchain revolution.